Sometimes it's cold out. In fact, this 2017-18 winter is breaking records for how cold it's been. The last year has seen over 10,500 low temperature records broken, prompting many to ask, is global warming even real? I can see my breath. <sighs> if you're one of many who question global warming during the winter, you're not alone. Remember when this happened? In case we have forgotten, because we keep hearing that 2014 has been the warmest year on record, I asked the chair, you know what this is? It's a snowball, and that's just from outside here. So it's very, very cold out, very unseasonal. So here, Mr. President, catch this. Mm -hmm. Snow, how can we have a warm globe and also have snow? The difference is, and let me just speak plainly here, weather is not climate. Or put another way, weather is mood, climate is personality. You could tweet your hashtag current mood, but that doesn't mean it's your overall personality, right? When you think of the climate this way, it makes a lot more sense. Severe weather today, that's a mood. More severe weather over years or decades, that's Earth's personality. Citing severe weather as the reason there's no such thing as global warming is kind of like saying, I feel happy today, so there's no way I have depression, bipolar disorder, anxiety, or issues with anger. No one can deny that fluctuation is part of having a personality. And in this case, the personality of Mother Earth today is changing from how she used to be, and that's troubling. Now, if you're one of those who deny Mother Earth's personality is changing at all, you're not alone either. There are scientists who aren't sure if humans are causing this climate personality change. To that I say, picture Albuquerque. From 1991 to 2012, there were nearly 14,000 peer-reviewed published scientific papers exploring climate science. 24 of those dissented and didn't blame humans. To put those numbers in perspective, that's like saying every single person in the United States believes humans are causing climate change, but the population of Albuquerque doesn't. That's pretty astounding. Would you believe Albuquerque or literally everyone else? Plus, even if you are just hearing about this today, science has centuries of research on weather, climate, and the atmosphere. In 1824, a scientist named Joseph Fourier realized the Earth's atmosphere is what traps the sun's heat, like the glass in a greenhouse. Next, in 1859, physicist John Tyndall put some CO2 in a bottle and realized it trapped heat. And this was way before accusations of a liberal conspiracy hit the internet. Then in 1897, geologist Thomas Chamberlain wrote that the conditions for life might be subject to a delicate balance of CO2 in the sea, earth, and air. And if we release the trapped CO2 from one of these, we could upset that balance. And that's what we've been doing. It's been over 100 years, and we're forcing Earth to change her personality, to change her climate. The planet's personality is shifting, and that's reflected in her mood swings. Since the 1950s, winter storms are getting worse. The heaviest storms happen when the surface temperature is between 32 and 28 degrees. That's still cold, Mr. Snowball in Congress, but it used to be much colder. This warmer air can hold more moisture, which means more snow, more rain, and less freezing. So even though winter exists and one part of the Earth might be cold right this second, it's still hotter everywhere else on average. Record hot days are topping record cold days three to one. And that's because Fourier was wrong. The atmosphere is not a sheet of glass. It's a multi-layered, complex, and ever-changing system that we're still grasping the understanding of. In the end, the trend of our climate is going to continue, with stronger storms, wetter weather, and eventually higher average sea levels, less ice, and who knows what else. Objective and documented observation says that's where this trail of moods is going to lead. As the personality of our climate changes, we're going to have to live with a Mother Earth who is quick to anger, lashes out, and is less kind to her human passengers. But hey, at least we can still pack snowballs and tweet denials. Special thanks to Domain.com for sponsoring this episode of Seeker. Domain.com is awesome, affordable, reliable, and has all the tools you need to build a new website. They can fulfill all of your website needs. They offer .com and .net domain names and intuitive website builders. They have over 300 domain extensions to fit your needs, from .club to .space to .pizza. Take that first step in creating an identity online and visit Domain.com. What do you guys think? Let us know down in the comments. Obviously, climate science is really, really complicated, and there's lots of other things to consider here, but, you know, your opinion is important. Also, watch this video if you want more climate science, and thanks so much for watching Seeker.